Weighing a cat daily or weekly is an easy method of monitoring whether treatment for feline infectious peritonitis, FIP, is working or not. In today's short video for both veterinary surgeons and cat lovers, we will look at how this inexpensive measure can let you know if your FIP treatment is working or not, and how much weight gain to expect when FIP treatment is working. In his 2020 paper on treating feline infectious peritonitis, FIP, with GS441524, Dr. Niels Peterson said, The simplest long-term measure of treatment efficacy was body weight. The paper went on to state that weight gains of 20 to 120% occurred, but in this film I want to pin the figure down for you using some case studies. You should expect an average weight gain of somewhere between 23 and 29 grams per day, that is about an ounce per day, if your FIP treatment is working. This is what we see in cats on mutian pills. We follow mutian treatment with feline interferon omega, verbiage in omega, given by mouth, and the cats gain just under half an ounce, that is around 10 grams, of weight per day. If your cat is losing weight despite the FIP treatment, then you need to find out why. This is Skywise, who is the cat featured in our non-effusive FIP case report, published in the Virus Journal. You can see what a poor wee soul he was. He had lost the sight in his one remaining eye due to FIP-induced uveitis. Then, after treatments, he was back to his cheeky self, having requisitioned this cardboard box for himself. You can see his eye is bright again. Here is his eye with uveitis on the left and recovered on the right. We'll talk about his treatment in detail in another video. Skywise's guardian, Joanna, regularly weighed Skywise. Here he is on the scales. Joanna reported his weight to me and I plotted it on an Excel file with the date and we would celebrate together whenever he achieved a milestone. Here he is on the day that he gained one kilogram. This is my graph of Skywise's weight. Along the y-axis is the cat's weight in grams and along the x-axis are the days. Time zero marks the day when he was actually diagnosed with FIP but you can see that he was losing weight prior to his FIP diagnosis, and in fact he lost an average of nearly 22 grams a day due to FIP while it was incubating. On day zero, he was diagnosed with FIP and put onto prednisolone, and his weight loss did slow to an average of 2.5 grams per day, down from 22 grams. I am strongly against using corticosteroids in FIP cases, so as soon as his vet and the cat's guardian contacted me, I requested they stop prednisolone as soon as possible. He received topical prednisolone eye drops instead. Skywise began mutian pills on day 6 post FIP diagnosis, and you can see that the weight loss stopped almost immediately and that he began to gain weight. We stopped mutian after 50 days and put him onto 100,000 units of feline interferon Verbigen Omega by Verbac by mouth. He continued to gain weight, although at a slower rate. In summary, Skywise lost nearly 22 grams per day of weight prior to treatment. Weight loss reduced to just 2.5 grams per day on prednisolone. On Mutian, he gained 22.6 grams per day, and on Verbigen Omega, he gained 8.6 grams per day. You will find that eventually the cat's weight levels off at the optimal weight for that cat. Skywise's weight leveled off at about 4.4 kilos. This is Noldor. He lost 10 grams a day due to FIP. And that got worse and he lost 42.5 grams per day on prednisolone. But happily when we stopped the prednisolone and he started on mutian, he gained 29.8 grams per day and this reduced slightly to 16.9 grams per day when he went on to oral verbogen omega. Noldor was unusual for an effusive FIP case in that he began to gain weight immediately on mutian. Usually there is a delay of about 10 days before weight rises while the effusion resolves. This is B who had effusive FIP 
I'm sorry, that rhymes. You can see that within days of beginning Mutian, her effusion began to resolve, and that it was gone within two weeks. This is the graph of B's weight. I think you can see the effusion building up and then resolving. I'd like to zoom in on this part of the graph. You can see that weight was starting to go up, but then stopped and began heading down again. At this time, B was vomiting, and I suspected a fur ball. So I advised adding one tablespoon of Royal Cannon 12 Plus dry food to her diet. I find this food is actually better than the Royal Cannon hairball food, and I'm very grateful to Dr. Monique Trottier for informing me about it. I recommend all cats, whatever their ages, get about one tablespoon of it daily, but not to give it exclusively. Give predominantly wet food and a variety of brands. Cats with FIP seem unusually prone to fur balls, and they can give the impression that the FIP treatment has stopped working. I would like to add that I definitely do not recommend using Mutian for as long as B was treated because we believe that mutian can damage the kidneys if given in high doses, or for too long. But this client's attending vet refused to obtain verbogen omega for her. Most cats recover after about 7 to 8 weeks of mutian. Regularly measuring weight saved the life of one FIP kitty. Jasper has very conscientious veterinary surgeons who recorded his weight every visit. You can see here his weight recorded every year when he went for his vaccine booster. In November 2018 at booster time, the vet noticed that he had lost 600 grams. Now this isn't a lot over one year. The weight had been lost gradually and they put it down to a change of food at the time. However, the fact of the vet noticing the weight loss and remarking upon it meant that his guardians were more aware of the cat's weight and they came in in the following January out of concern that he was still losing weight. Blood tests and a biopsy were done, FIP was diagnosed, the cat was treated with mutian pills, and he is alive and well two years on. In summary, FIP cats being treated with mutian should gain around 25 grams or about an ounce a day while on the mutian. We stop mutian when they have two consecutive normal alpha-1 acyglycoprotein results, which usually happens after about two months of mutian. Then, after the mutian course is finished, we use 100,000 units of verbogen omega given by mouth, and weight gain slows to around 10 grams, or half an ounce per day, on average. If the cat fails to gain weight or begins to lose weight, then you must investigate the cause. I am hugely grateful to the guardians of these cats for permitting their stories to be used to help others, and big, big thanks to the CatBars.com subscribers for sponsoring this video. Thank you for listening. God bless you and your cats. This is Diane Addy, praying for an end to all animal suffering. Goodbye.